In today's video, I'll be covering some smart Shopify hacks, for ways you can help to make your website look more high-end, and for ways that you can make your website more user-friendly for your customers. These Shopify hacks are great for clothing stores, cosmetic and dropshipping stores, and also stores in other niches. Before we hop into this video, if you are a beginner with Shopify and you're still deciding between which long-term plan you'll be choosing, I have a way that you guys can get your first three months on Shopify for just $1. This allows you to be able to set up your store, list products, and even possibly receive orders, all without having to commit just yet to a long-term plan. I will put that Shopify signup link in my description box below so that you guys can enjoy that extended trial. The first smart Shopify hack is to stack announcements on your website. Stacking announcements above your website's header allows customers to be able to easily see your shop announcements at the very top of your website. Stacking announcements is a great way to list store-wide shipping details, and it's also a place where you can announce product launches, store-wide sales and discounts, and you can even add clickable social media handles. I'm gonna show you three types of announcements you can stack. Also, this Shopify theme that you see in this video will be linked in the description box below. I also have a line of other types of Shopify themes for a variety of different businesses, but more on that later. I'll first be showing you three types of store announcements that you can stack. On Shopify, you'll want to open your themes page, then you can go on to customize your theme. Once you open your website, one way to add an announcement bar would be to hover over your website's header, then to click the plus add section icon. Then you should be able to insert an announcement bar section. After you add an announcement bar, on the left, you should see a settings bar pop up with a few different customization options that you have for the announcement bar. You'll have the option to select and apply a brand new color scheme to this section. You can choose to display social media icons. And also if you'd like to auto rotate announcements, you can customize these settings. I'm gonna click this arrow back. Then I'm gonna click on the announcement text. And under text is where you can add your store announcement text. And if you'd like, you can insert a link leading to another website or another page within your website. That's kind of like how to add a traditional style announcement bar to just add a shop announcement. And you can click the mobile icon to take a look at how it appears on a mobile device. I'm gonna stack another announcement right below that. So I'm gonna click add section and then I'll be inserting an announcement bar. For this section, I'm gonna apply a different color scheme. After that, I'm gonna select the show icons on desktop, which is gonna display clickable social media icons. And I'm gonna click this arrow back. And then right under this announcement bar, I'm gonna click on the text box. And I'm actually gonna remove this text. That's how to make an announcement bar that's just gonna feature your social media handles. You can also feature your social media handles on your text announcement bar as well. And also in case you don't have your social medias connected, to add your brand social media links, you'll want to click theme settings. Then I'm gonna scroll down and then I'm gonna click social media. This is where you can insert links to your brand's social media pages so that the specific icons will appear. And then last, to add a rotating announcement bar, I'm gonna click add section and then I'm gonna insert another announcement bar. For this one, I'm gonna enable the auto rotate setting, which is gonna automatically rotate the different announcements that I add to this specific bar. And I'm gonna set them to change every three seconds. I'm gonna click this arrow back and you can adjust the text that appears on that first text box. And then to add multiple announcements, I'm gonna click on that same text. Then I'm gonna click these three dots and click duplicate. That's gonna create another announcement and then you can title this something else. Afterwards, I'm gonna click save. And as you can see, it's gonna automatically rotate those slides back and forth as someone is on my website. Those are three different types of announcements that you can stack to let your customers know your important store announcements. And I'm gonna have this Shopify theme linked in my description box, along with where you can check out my other Shopify templates. Using a Shopify theme can help you to build your website and have a professional look and layout to display your different collections, your services, and more without you having to spend a ton of time. If you're not too familiar with Shopify themes, the template will arrive in a zip file format. And when you open Shopify, then go to your homepage, you'll be able to upload that website theme straight into your store. And you can publish it and begin editing it and adding your products. Most of my Shopify templates are template bundles, so they do include an installation guide with instructions and screenshots to show you how to install the Shopify theme. I have a wide variety of Shopify templates for different types of business niches, including skincare, dropshipping, and even coaching businesses. My theme bundles also include additional templates, like web banner templates, logo templates, and more. 
If you're looking to save the time from having to design and lay out your website from scratch, you can grab one of my Shopify themes from my website, which I will link in the description box below. The next Shopify tip would be to add detailed tags to all of your store's products. Adding tags to a product is a great way to help categorize that product in your online store in a way where when your customers are searching for it, that specific product that they're looking for is going to pop up. I'm going to show you in depth how you can add tags to your product. On Shopify, you'll want to click products to open your products page. Then you can open up a specific product. So I'm going to open up this example product. Then once you've opened up the product editing page, I'm going to scroll down. Then here under product organization, you're going to be able to see this tags section where you can insert tags for your product. Tags are going to be like the different search terms that customers would be searching in your website to find a specific product. So you want to think of different words that your customers would search. That way the right product will pop up based on what they're searching. After you type in a tag idea, you're just going to click add and it should add that to your default tags list so that when you go to create a brand new product, you can just pre-select tags that you've already added. And you just want to add as many tags as you can think of. So for example, if your product is like a short sleeve shirt or a crew neck, customers may end up searching with those terms. Then you want to click save. In general, adding product tags can be a great way to help make your customers navigation on your website a lot smoother so that they can find what they're looking for. The next Shopify hack can be a great way to help your customers with their frequently asked questions that they may have about your store. This will be to add a product FAQs section in the description boxes of your products. I'm going to show you an easy way to do this so that you can help your customers with any product questions that they may have before they place their order. On Shopify, you'll want to open your products page. Then you'll want to open up a specific product. Once you open up a product, you want to scroll down to the description box section. And in the description box, you can choose to list your FAQs either at the bottom or the top of your description. I'm going to be pasting in my frequently asked questions and answers. Also over time, as you get orders on your product and more commonly asked questions from your customers, you can take all of those questions that you usually get and then just add them to the description boxes of your product. And also for any users that are brand new to Shopify, I know it can feel a little overwhelming figuring out the dashboard, setting up your store, and also making sure that your products are optimized to sell. I do have a new seller's guide, which is a step-by-step -step beginner's ebook made to walk you through the Shopify dashboard. The guide includes a launch checklist to help keep you on track, a mini store setup guide, tips for customizing your theme and branding your website, and includes a Shopify app guide overview and product optimization tips so that your store isn't just live, but it's ready to be discovered by customers. I'll link the guide below for you guys so that you can grab your copy. And using Shopify's editing options, you can customize the appearance of the text. So I'm gonna take this main title text and I'm actually going to center the alignment of that text. And then I'm going to kind of make the text just a little bit larger. You can also highlight the text if you would like. So I'm going to select that text and then using the color editor, I'm going to apply a background color. You can also choose if you would like to highlight the specific questions or the answers, and you can put the text in bold if you would like. If any of your answers direct customers to a different page in your website, like a policies page or just another page in general, what you can do to add a link to that page is just select the text and then I'm going to be using this insert link icon which can allow you to insert a link to either another page in your website or just a different website in general. That way when customers click on the text, it should redirect them to the link that you've inserted. Afterwards, I'm going to click this save icon to go ahead and save the product. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that product. So you can click the preview page or you can view the product straight from your website in the theme editor. So here in my theme editor, I'm just gonna open up that product. And when I scroll down, here is what the FAQs section looks like on this product page. This is a great way to help your customers with any commonly asked questions that they may have before placing their order so that they can have more confidence in their purchase. You can include shipping questions, store policy questions, and more. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.